Yours feels warm. Would you like to do something? Go to the lake or to Overton's hotel. They have dancing until midnight. Or we could go for a walk. I can't. I've got to be back in ten minutes. I shouldn't even be out now. Ten minutes? Are you serious? I came all the way from Belutz. Oh, I know, but it's Good Friday. Isn't that a holiday? Oh, no. It's a holy day. It's the day that Christ our Lord died. We have to abstain from movies or parties or dates. It's a day of prayer and mourning. Then why do they call it Good Friday? It sounds like lousy Friday to me. <laughs> Ten minutes. Jesus. No, uh, I'm sorry. No Jesus. I can't believe it. It's my fault. I should have told you in my last letter. Well, we can make up for it next week, can't we? I don't know that I'll be here next Friday. We finished basic training yesterday. We could be shipping out any day now. Shipping out? To where? Europe, the Pacific. They haven't told us yet. Overseas? So soon. Well, they can't keep us here forever, you know. The army needs reinforcements. We've already lost a, sar a sergeant and a private who was still in Biloxi. <laughs> can't you stay out a little later? Just tonight. I know I'm Jewish, but still, you know, I don't think Christ your Lord is going to hold it against you personally. I can't, Eugene. I have to be faithful to my beliefs. What about being faithful to me? Well, I have been. I haven't been to another USO dance since we met. I just don't feel like dancing with anyone else anymore. Do you mean it? I'll cross my heart. Uh, don't cross it. Religion's always getting in our way. <laughs> I believe you. Well, I think you're a very special person, Eugene. And if you want me to, I'll write to you as often as you'd like. Of course I do. I want you to write me every day. And I want a picture. But I don't even have a picture of you. Well, what kind of picture? Well, do you have one where I could feel your skin? Well, if I did, I wish I had one where I could just squeeze your hand. I'm going to shoot my foot, I swear. I don't want to leave here. Well, I'm glad you feel the same way about me, Eugene. Of course I do. I, I would have come tonight even if I'd known I only had five minutes with you. Daisy, I... I... What, Eugene? I, I want to say something to you, but I'm, I'm having trouble with the words. Well, that doesn't sound like Eugene the writer to me. That's because I'm not writing now. I'm talking. You know, I'm Eugene the talker. <laughs> Daisy, I just wanted to say that, that I... Well... I, I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't mean to say that, especially on Good Friday. Well, I'll say ten Hail Marys for you. You don't have to do that. They're not going to do me any good. Well, what is it you wanted to say? Oh, Daisy, you know what it is. I've never said it to another girl before in my life. I, I just don't know what it's going to sound like when it comes out. Say it and I'll tell you. I love you, Daisy. Oh, nuts. It came out wrong. That's not the way I meant it. Oh, I've never heard it said so beautifully. What do you mean? How many other guys have said it to you? Oh, none. I meant in the movies. Not Tyrone Power or Robert Taylor or even Clark Gable. Yeah, well, they get paid for saying it. I'm in business for myself. Oh, I remember everything you say to me. When I go home at night, I write it all down and I read over it whenever I miss you. Well... If you're keeping your memoirs, keep your locker closed. I don't want to be the talk of St. Mary's. <laughs> oh, it's 8 o'clock. I have to go. But you haven't said it to me yet. Would I love you? No, not like that. You threw it in too quickly. You had to take a breath, prepare for it, and then say it. <laughs> All right. I've taken a breath. And now I'm preparing for it. And now I'll say it. I love you, Eugene. But we can't kiss. It's Good Friday. But you have to kiss after you say I love you. Not even God would forgive you that. I love you, Eugene. I have to go. Daisy, this is the most important moment of our lives. It's the first time we're in love. That only happens once. When I leave tonight, I don't know that we'll ever see each other again. Oh, don't say that, Eugene. Please don't say that. It's possible. I pray it doesn't happen, but it's possible. I need a proper kiss, Daisy. A kiss to commemorate a night I'll never forget as long as I live. I'll even say a hundred Hail Marys for you on the bus ride back. Okay? Say 200 Hail Marys on the bus right now. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. This is for you. It's a book. Really? What book? I love your taste in books. It's blank pages for your memoirs. Page one can start with tonight. Take care of yourself, Jean Morris Jerome. And even if some other girl gets you, I'll always know I was your first love. 